everybody. Well, today's video is my April favorites. So it seems like I was just sitting here the other day and I was talking to you about doing my March favorites early because I was heading off to London. And here it is a whole month later and it is already the end of April and the beginning of May. It's amazing. Well, we finally have great weather though, so that's really good. And it really turned into spring here and I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that it stays. So I've got quite a few things I want to share with you, so I'm going to get right into it. So keeping with my tradition of trying to pull out some old things and use them throughout the month as well as new things, I pulled out an eyeshadow that I got, I think it was last summer, and I really, really love it. I'm actually wearing it today. It's the uh, Zonk Blue from MAC. And it's just, I know, I keep reaching for these colors, and you're going to say that I've probably bought a ton of them since. But this is just the prettiest green-blue color. And actually the other day a makeup artist said to me that, especially with the allergies and my eyes have been sort of red, and I really love to wear the pinks and the purples, and he suggested that I stay away from them for a bit and really go more towards the blues and the browns because the purples and the pinks tend to um, play up the red. So I think that he is right, so I went and pulled out these colors and I absolutely love this color. So after I did my eyeshadows the other day using what Giada did, the amber diamond, and I actually picked it out to show it to you again, the bronzer that I used on my eyes. I really like that look, so I was looking through my stash as to what else I could use to come up with that look. And of course, I had the most perfect eyeshadow. It's, the Ore. it's number um, 565. It's called Nude Look. And look at the colors are almost identical, a little bit different, but really nice. They have a lighter sort of like a peachy sort of beige color, goldish maybe beige more, and then that brown color. So I can use that and get that same effect, so I really, really am enjoying this. For mascara, I've gone back to Givenchy or Givenchy, depending how you pronounce it, and of course I always pronounce it wrong. And I went back to the mascara that I call my Torture Ball Mascara, the one that's got that funky little end. But you know what? It really has a great amount of control, and I really like it. And as much as I'm enjoying the Clinique um, Lower Lash Mascara, which I don't think that I'd buy again, because this really gives me the option of doing the same thing. There's so much control in this that I can do the bottom ones with this, and I really don't need a separate mascara. So this has definitely been one of my favorites this month. For my eyebrows, I keep going back to this, and I'm not really sure why I keep trying different things. I know we're all the same, but I really, really love this. It's the Dior Show. It's the Brow Style. Styler. It looks like a pretty much like a silver pen, and it's really great. First of all, it's got one of those self-sharpening ends, so you just roll it up, and it's, it's in the color of universal brown, so it's really, I think it really goes pretty much for anybody. It's, of course, unless your eyebrows are really, really dark, but it's a really nice color. I love the fact that it has the brush on the end. So it works really well. And a quick little tip that a makeup artist, there was a, I actually had my makeup done, um, Chanel at the beginning of the month had a makeup artist in, he does a lot of the shows, I forget what his name was, but he did my makeup on, it was really amazing. But one of the tricks that he said to me was that what he does in filling in the eyebrows now is that how, I know how we all do those sort of like small little strokes, well he actually goes in and does these little dots, little pinpoint dots and then uses the brush and goes through it and he says it looks sort of like more of like a hair follicle and he thinks it's a little more natural looking so I haven't been doing it for drawing in the line for filling in the sparse ears it really works really well I have two foundations that I'm really loving this month one that I've had pretty much I think since last summer and one that's really new it's only a few days old but it does make it into the um, April favorites and the first one is my Laura Mercier it's the tinted moisturizer it's the illuminating one with the SPF of 20 and I have it in Natural Radiance. I really like this a lot. I'm pretty sure I liked it a lot last summer also. But I like it as the weather starts to get warmer. I like the fact that it's a little bit darker than what I usually wear. So between this and a little bronzer, it gives me a little bit of color without, of course, sitting in the sun, which you know that I won't do. So I really like that a lot. And the second one that I like that I just got that I was sort of hesitating about, but I really wanted to try a stick foundation. And the reason is, is that as my skin has been getting a lot better through, you know, the peels and the different treatments that I've had, I find that I don't need as much coverage as I used to need, so I was thinking that I'd like to have something that I could just sort of do some spot areas, especially when it starts to get warmer, and I really don't really like the feeling between having to put heavier uh, suntan protection on and then putting foundation on. I'm real, not really crazy about that feeling. So I went and got this Chantecaille, and color is really, I'm not sure it's going to be, you're going to be able to see the color that well, but it's vanilla. And the reason that I like this is that their product's supposed to be like sort of treatment products and really good for your skin. So this one has aloe vera in it and it has vitamin C and vitamin E in it. And I have tried it for the last couple of days and I do like it a lot. I think it's going to really be exactly what I've been looking for. So it's called the New Stick and it's, um, as I said, it's in vanilla. For blush, I went and pulled out something that I haven't used in a long time. I didn't really like this initially. Um, I think it had more to do probably with the application 
application and since the sales rep that was in the Makeup Forever store showed me how to do it with their liquid um, blush, I've been using this and doing it the same kind of application. It's still not my most favorite. I have to tell you for the money, definitely I'll go with the Inglot one. But I've been using this because it's a really, really pretty color and it's the By Terry. It's the blush fluid in uh, Rose de Rose. So I do the same thing. I put it in the back of my hand now and I really work it into the back of my hand and then put it on my face. And you only need a really, really small amount of this. This is really, really pigmented, so don't waste it. But I really enjoyed this. The other blush that I've really been using a lot, I've been using this all month. I've actually been using it ever since I purchased it and I told you this before and I showed it to you before. But I'm definitely including it in this month's favorites. And it's my accessorized blush. It's the one that's that really pretty pink with the gold in it. And it's number two in Starlet. And I just keep reaching for this all the time. I love this blush. The color is just magnificent. I think it would be pretty on just so many different skin tones. And of course, you can't beat the price. Unfortunately, it isn't available over here. But for you guys over in London, this one's definitely a keeper. For a brush this month, I'm in love with the angled eye color brush from Laura Mercier. The one that I used, I think, in one of my tutorials. It is such a great brush. I love this brush. It's nice and dense. I absolutely love the angle of it. It's perfect for doing V's. It's perfect for contouring. It's just, it's got a great size handle, so it's like really easy to move and sort of do that windshield wiper type of movement. It's just an awesome brush. This has definitely become one of my favorite, not only for this month, but for all time. I have three lipsticks that I really love this month. The first one is from Yves Saint Laurent. It's number 26. And I sort of put it on my hand there so you can see it's a real peachy sort of color. I'm definitely into the peaches and the pinks. I put away, I did some spring cleaning and put away all of my darker colors, even some of my nudes. Although I've kept just a couple of them out. But absolutely love that. Love the packaging. It's such a pretty lipstick. And love the fact that it has a little mirror on the back, which is really cool. The next one is, now I originally did not like this lipstick. Not that I didn't like the color. But I didn't like the fact that it was so drying. So, so I've been using it with a lot of different lip glosses. So I've been liking it a lot more. It's not as drying. But I really love the color. I wish it was a little bit more hydrating on its own. But I'm working my way through that. And it's number 32 from Makeup Forever. It's the Rouge Artist Intense. It's another beautiful, beautiful shade. I mean, I loved it from when I first got it. But even in now, just putting it on my finger to show you, it is really drying, but the color is gorgeous. So even if you use a clear lip gloss over it, or if you put a nice treatment on your lips beforehand, then it goes on a little bit smoother. The color is really, really pretty. And the last lipstick, which is only a couple of days old, but I know it is going to be one of my favorite. It's the one that Giada showed in her video just recently. And I actually tweeted to her the minute I saw it that I knew I was going to get it. So I went and I picked it up. It's number 578. It's the Dior Attic. Now these are similar to the new um, Chanel lipsticks, especially that famous boy that I have. I love the color, but I don't know about you guys. It doesn't stay on my lips that long. I don't know why. Absolutely beautiful shade. I love the packaging. I love everything about it. But for some reason, it just doesn't seem to stay on my lips that long. I don't know whether you guys have had a similar experience with them. Love to know. But these are the same concept. They're also more of like a nourishing, um, sort of a lighter color. But this is so gorgeous. Look at that color. And this does stay, first of all, it's a little bit more pigmented. So it really does show up a lot darker on my lips. But it also stays on a lot more. Just an absolutely glorious, glorious color. If you have a chance, you should definitely check that out. This is this month's favorite, and I'm sure it's going to be one of my favorites all summer long. My next favorite is an eye cream, and I have to tell you honestly, I tried not to like this. I got a sample of it, and it's really expensive, and I thought, okay, great. I got a sample, and I'll use it for you know a week or two, and I'll see if I like it or not. And fingers crossed that I won't like it. And it's the La Mer, the Eye Concentrate. So I got it, and I'm still using actually the little, it was actually maybe a giveaway as opposed to a sample. I'm still using that. I'll just show you that I still have it. I love this eye cream. This is so soothing. It's so hydrating. I just think my eyes look much better when I use it. As I said, I tried not to like it, but I really, really like it. So I broke down yesterday, and there was Saks who had uh, friends and family, so they had 10% off, and I went and splurged. I haven't even opened it yet because I'm going to get every single bit out of that sample before I open it, but I went and got it. So it's not open, so maybe I shouldn't be um, including it in my favorites, but because I've had this for the past couple of weeks, I am. My last favorite, believe it or not, is a perfume. I know you have listened 
listen to me for over a year say that I wear Chanel number no. 5 and I don't wear anything else and I don't. I've always worn Chanel number no. 5, always loved it. But I finally decided, okay, I've seen so many great videos about so many great perfumes. I'm going to go and give a new one a try. And it's the Blue Mediterranean and it's called Fico de Amalfi. And the bottle looks like this. And these are supposed to be all sort of natural, like, scents of, with lemons and different herbs and spices and fruit. The other thing that the girl told me when I went to try out the different scents was the fact that these won't give me a headache. A lot of times I think why I've stayed away from a lot of perfumes is if they're too strongly scented. They really bother my sinuses and I sort of get a headache from them. So I've always shied away from trying out too many different ones. But this is so light. It's got, I can't describe it. It's definitely fig. It has almost like... I want to say like almost like a little bit of a peppery smell. I know that sounds sort of odd, but it has one of the most unique scents, and I guess the whole line does. Um, there was another one that had sort of like lemon scent in it, which was really pretty too. And what the girl suggested was that if I really like this, that I could buy the other one and actually mix them, which I probably will end up doing. And I just love this. This is definitely my favorite, and I know I'm going to be using this all summer long. And of course now there's an issue because... I was always only buying one perfume, and I guess now I'll be trying out some different perfumes too. So that's it, everybody. Those are my favorites. I know there was a ton. I may have been talking a little bit too quickly. I'm sorry if I did. Um, I'll put the descriptions of everything underneath and put it in the information below. And of course, if you have any questions, just feel free to leave me a comment, and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. So I hope everybody has a great weekend planned. I know that I do. I'm going to be out and about as much as I can in this glorious weather. So that's it. Take care. Speak to you soon.